dreamt of exploring New Zealand's breathtaking landscapes in reality? Or where in New Zealand should you start? Considering New Zealand's majestic gems, organizing a trip here could be time-consuming. Because of this, we compiled a list of the top 10 best places to visit in New Zealand, along with the estimated budget. This list is ideal whether you are traveling to the nation for the first time or are preparing to return. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. So, let's get into it. Starting off the list at number 10 is Stewart Island. Stewart Island is the third largest island in New Zealand and can be found even further south than South Island. With over 80% of the island protected as Rakira National Park, the island offers a rare opportunity to experience the untouched wilderness of New Zealand. Trekking, camping, and birding dominate Stewart Island's leisure scene. Aside from that, the pure turquoise water and white sand beaches make Rakira appear more like a tropical haven. The island's frequent sightings of the Aurora Australis have earned it the nickname Rakira, or the country of sparkling skies, making it a popular astro-tourism destination. Budgeting for this pristine paradise is your ticket to an untouched wilderness experience. For the budget adventurer, allocating 50 to 150 New Zealand dollars can get you scenic coastal walks, the magic of spotting the native kiwi in the wild, and sampling sumptuous local seafood. If you're up for deeper exploration, 150 to 300 New Zealand dollars can unlock chartered fishing trips, guided rainforest treks, and a dive into the island's rich Maori heritage. Next at number 9 is Nelson. At the tip of the South Island, Nelson is widely recognized as the place in New Zealand with the highest annual average of daylight hours. Nelson is a beautiful place to enjoy the outdoors because of its pleasant temperature and proximity to three national parks. Nelson has all the conveniences of a major capital while still maintaining a small-town feel and sense of community. It is the main fishing harbor in New Zealand and the entry point to the country's booming agriculture and timber sectors. With that, it's easy to see why Nelson is a popular tourist destination all year round with its stunning natural beauty, abundance of outdoor activities, inventive artisan industry, and delicious food and wine. Setting your budget is the golden key to this gem's coastal wonders and artistic vibes. For those on a shoestring, 40 to 100 New Zealand dollars can give you a taste of its vibrant art scene, leisurely beach strolls, and a sip of the region's craft beers or ciders. If you want to delve deeper into Nelson's charm, a 100 to 250 New Zealand dollars budget promises immersive experiences like kayaking in the Abel Tasman, exploring boutique galleries, and savoring gourmet delights from local eateries. Next in line at number 8 is Napier. Napier, a coastal town on North Island, gained its nickname as the Art Deco Capital of the World due to the large number of buildings constructed in the 1930s after the city was devastated by fire over 80 years ago. But visiting the National Aquarium of New Zealand is the best thing to do in Napier after taking a walking tour of the city for its design, whether with a guide or independently. Animals as diverse as turtles and alligators call this massive tank home, and the state-of-the-art displays are among the best in the world. When crafting your budget for this architectural wonderland, know that every penny can paint a vivid picture. For those budgeting 50 to 120 New Zealand dollars, expect enchanting walks amidst 1930s facades, delightful cafe stops, and perhaps a tasting of the region's famed wines. For a deeper foray into Napier's elegance, 120 to 250 New Zealand dollars ensures vintage car rides, gourmet dining experiences, and even guided tours showcasing the city's history and resilience. Coming in at number 7 is Glacier Country. The west coast of South Island is home to Glacier Country, whose crown jewel is Westland National Park. Franz Josef Glacier and Fox Glacier are two of the country's most magnificent glaciers, which can be viewed in the park. Franz Josef Glacier is an accessible glacier as you can stroll up to it even through the Glacier Valley. Guided excursions provide a closer look at the expanding glaciers, and after a day of trekking, you can unwind by soaking in the remarkable glacier hot pools. Strategizing your budget for this frozen wonderland can shape an adventure. For the cost-conscious traveler, allocating 60 to 150 New Zealand dollars can lead to ethereal glacier valley walks, reflective moments by blue pools, and the thrill of spotting native wildlife. For those seeking a deeper embrace of these icy titans, a budget of 150 to 350 New Zealand dollars offers guided hikes on the glaciers, scenic flights with alpine landings, and the warmth of local hot pools. Next at number 6 is Rotorua. Rotorua is renowned as New Zealand's thermal paradise, and it is one of the best sites in New Zealand to visit if you want to learn more about the vibrant Maori culture. 
There are numerous geysers and hot springs in and around the city, most of which are found in parks and reserves. Today, they offer visitors the chance to experience traditional Maori villages. You can also choose from various spa treatments, from a simple soak in a thermal stream or pool lined with natural bush to a luxurious spa and massage complex here. To weave your perfect Rotorua tail, let's talk budget. For the mindful voyager, 50 to 120 New Zealand dollars promises geysers in full spout, the allure of mud pools, and an introduction to Maori culture with a traditional hangi meal. For those wanting a fuller embrace of Rotorua's essence, allocating 120 to 280 New Zealand dollars ensures spa sessions in mineral-rich waters, immersive cultural performances, and perhaps a forest zipline adventure. Before we continue with the list, please subscribe and hit the like button, it really helps us to bring you more content, and please don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you won't miss out on any of our travel videos. Let's continue with number 5, Auckland. Auckland, also known as the City of Sales, is the most populated city in New Zealand. It is situated on the North Island and is renowned for its thriving culture and culinary landscape. Climb the Auckland Harbour Bridge for breathtaking views of this gorgeous city. If you're interested in learning more about New Zealand's history and culture, you should visit the Auckland Domain, the earliest portion of the city. In the Auckland Domain, the world-famous Auckland Museum features exceptional Maori and Pacific Island artifact displays. For the thrifty traveler, a budget of 50 to 130 New Zealand dollars offers panoramic views from the Sky Tower, a stroll along the vibrant Viaduct Harbour, and a taste of Auckland's diverse culinary scene. If you're keen to delve deeper into the city's offerings, setting aside 130 to 280 New Zealand dollars can unlock island wine tours, harbour cruises, and intimate gigs in local music venues. Next at number 4 is Paihia. New Zealand's Paihia is a fantastic place to explore the Bay of Islands. Paihia prides itself on maintaining a rural atmosphere while providing visitors with a wide variety of high-quality accommodations and exciting attractions. If you're up for some physical adventure, you can go scuba diving to check out the Rainbow Warrior Shipwreck. Once back on the ground, head to one of the many excellent restaurants along Marsden Road offering various, collected raw fish. As you chart your adventure, budgeting becomes the compass. For those keen on a modest escapade, 40 to 110 New Zealand dollars can offer you dolphin spotting cruises, strolls by the historic Waitangi Treaty Grounds, and a taste of fresh seafood by the bay. If you're ready to fully unlock Paihia's magic, budgeting 110 to 250 New Zealand dollars grants you immersive Maori cultural experiences, island hopping adventures, and maybe even a dive beneath the waves. With so many exceptional things to do in Paihia, we recommend basing yourself in this beautiful seaside community because it is truly an ideal place for a perfect vacation. Coming in at number 3 on the list is Queenstown. Queenstown, located on New Zealand's South Island, is for thrill-seekers and adventurers. The beauty of Queenstown is that most of its attractions are accessible year-round, so you can visit whenever the mood strikes you. It is known around the globe as an exciting destination with a wide variety of extreme sports and activities available. The arrival of cooler weather changes Queenstown into a world-class winter resort with four ski areas and numerous shops, eateries, and other places to decompress. And if you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings, you might really want to consider this because the town served as the setting for Isengard, the Misty Mountains, and the Forest of Fangorn in the films. From Queenstown, you can pick several different Lord of the Rings-themed excursions with a starting price of 50 New Zealand dollars. For the adventure seeker on a shoestring, 70 to 150 New Zealand dollars ensures exhilarating street luge rides, serene lakeside picnics, and perhaps a dance with the famous Fergburger. If your soul craves deeper dives into Queenstown's thrills, a budget of 150 to 320 New Zealand dollars unlocks bungee jumps off iconic bridges, jet boat rides through canyons, and twilight dining with panoramic mountain views. Next at number 2 on the list is Tongariro National Park. Tongariro National Park is famous for its unexpected beauty and its stark contrasts. Lakes, volcanoes, herb fields, wild woodlands, and desert-like plateaus are just some of the views that can be found in this area. Tongariro was the first national park in New Zealand, established in 1887. UNESCO recognized the park as a World Heritage Site in both environmental and cultural categories just over a century after it was selected because of its importance to the Maori people. This place also has an incredible variety of plant and animal life and is stunningly beautiful. Let's navigate your budget as you lace up your boots and plan your journey. For the daring explorer on a modest budget, 40 to 110 New Zealand dollars promises captivating treks like the renowned Tongariro Alpine Crossing, serene nights under a starlit sky, and encounters with native flora and fauna. 
If you're keen on delving deeper into the park's primal beauty, allocating 110 to 250 New Zealand dollars ensures guided volcano tours, thermal spring dips, and hearty meals at local lodges. And now, the number one on the list is Fjordland. The Fjordland National Park is one of New Zealand's most beautiful natural attractions. In the southwestern part of the South Island, you can go on amazing adventures, hunt for trout, or cruise on the beautiful. Milford Sound, a genuine estuary carved out by a glacier, is the region of Fjordland's most notable feature. Wildlife, such as dolphins and penguins, can be spotted on tour through Milford Sound, in addition to the stunning scenery of waterfalls and sheer rock walls rising over the ocean. As you envision the mirrored waters of Milford Sound or the vast stretch of the Kepler track, shaping your budget becomes the map to this paradise. On a gentle budget of 50 to 130 New Zealand dollars, one can embrace scenic cruises amidst towering cliffs, forested walks teeming with native bird calls, and the serenity of remote campgrounds. For those eager to dive deeper into Fjordland's embrace, a sum of 130 to 300 New Zealand dollars gifts you guided kayaking adventures, exhilarating scenic flights, and cozy stays overlooking pristine landscapes. Fjordland promises tales of untouched nature, where every budget unlocks a chapter of awe and discovery. And that brings us to the end of this video. Which one would you like to visit first? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the video below for more travel ideas. Until next time.